Hello, this is Smile Flips. Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. In this episode, we are continuing, well, the game. I want to get to the end of it. Where, um, yeah. So where to next? See where the US ones are. Jamming in the sand, sand kingdom. What's the last one? And sand kingdom keep a free run. Any others? I'm fine with the art. So the art one will always be the last thing that we do in one of these episodes just because it does require leaving the kingdom and I don't really want to um, leave. Anyway, that's located in Bowser's Kingdom, so we'll go there in a bit. But I just need to find Toad now for headphones. There he is. So, we just want to put boss battle music on, so... I think it's hilarious the fact that this music is the music that we played for Toad and he's happy because it doesn't really sound intense but it just sounds stupid. I'll leave the music on as well. Skip that. And now we've got all these moons that have appeared. So how So you may be wondering how am I gonna start it, so I don't think that bird has got anything to do with it. Um, completing the game. Rabbit, I thought it was that. The question is, are these the same rabbits as the broodles? Well, if they are. Then these would probably be like the younger siblings, brutal stuff. Come 
Why is this rabbit so hard to get? Now nah, I'm gonna go and get a Jaxi. See if the Jaxi can get the rabbit. There he is. Jump on Jaxi. Fancy music. Just we go. Got another one. So in today's non-binary topic is pretty much coming to terms with being non-binary once you discover that you truly are non-binary. Like sometimes the discovery that you are actually non-binary or trans can come to a massive shock. Especially when you've always been told in your life that there's only male and female. Especially if you, like binary trans, yeah. That's easy that it's not easier to come to terms with, but it's easier for like other people to understand it. Whereas non-binary trans is um, a lot more confusing to an outsider for the purpose of well they don't understand it they don't know what it is so unfortunately they um, don't have as much understanding however when you've got someone who's binary trans so that's male to female female to male pretty much as the genders are both well known, well understood and stuff it's a lot easier for like people to assist with that because you've got less um, terms to, loo to learn and as well Many people know like the expected gender roles and stuff, which is silly because why should we have roles based around someone's gender? Because one, it's not um, it's not even effective. 
for things that um, guys were supposed to be the best. Like sometimes some girls can actually beat most of the guys. At that. Same with guys. Like guys can do pretty much anything a girl can do. So why are we l having gender roles in 2021 or 2022? The world would be better if we could just express ourselves how we are, as long as it's not um, legal activity. We've done it. We've cleared off all the um, painting. And that. Post a clean up. And then once we've done that, then we can get catch the zip wire over to here, then into that pipe. And then it's mostly all the stuff on this side then, as well as this. So then, once we've done all this, gone on to that and done that, then do all this here. And then finish around in this area here. I think that sounds like what we should do. Oh, keeping free runners down here, that's fine. I thought it was up at the top, but no, it's down here. The thing I don't get is why is like um, Balloon World free when everything else you have to pay for? Like it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> The business practice of Nintendo Switch Online is not the best. I know it's not the best. I'm not pretending it is, but... Why think about, like, the business model like that? There we go. And now we're going to, um... Do it again, but this time they've got a new racer, so it's quicker. Okay, now all we need to do is just remain on the wire. We don't have to it.
Well, that's good. So now what we want to do is now I go and give it a bit. I think Balloon World was one of the worst, like, things that was added to the game. Because Luigi's Balloon World as well. It's alright. It's just one of those things where eventually it's going to become really difficult just to do Balloon World because you do need to um, have a lot of people playing for it for something like that to work. Okay, let's continue along then. Right then. Over here next. So now let's... Go. 
Just the next one. So now let's walk over here. Start off at the oasis and then just walk forward. So this tree. Yeah. 
we got? 98 points. I think that's the same as what we got last time we did that. Oh yeah, so now it's just the block there, and then it's also, um... There's no point doing the in world. Well, there is, but I don't really fancy doing like balloon world as like a series on here. So, plus as well, I've already done most balloon world anyway. Now we just need to go Bowser's Kingdom. And then I think I'm going to make the episode just a little bit shorter today, just because... If I do that, then... Just makes it a bit easier for the next episode to be a full episode and possibly some more Bloom World after that. Now we're going to go to Lake Kingdom. So thanks for watching this episode and then in the next one we will actually be finishing off the Lake Kingdom. And either doing Balloon World or starting Wooded Kingdom depending on what it is. The only time that I'll do with Balloon World is if I finish the episode really early. So, thanks for watching this episode, and bye!